friends, how are we all diddly doing? How's everybody holding up? Today we're going to be doing a slightly worrying entire history of and I do just want to give a trigger warning before we actually start it because I know it's a mod but this mod does kind of depict harm of children, technically babies. So if that's something that is triggering to you then just you know keep that aware. But today we are going to be talking about oh my god what the fuck barbecue mod. So, what even is it? The oh my god, what the fuck barbecue mod is a mod that struck shock in a lot of people and weirdly as the Sims community does inspiration in others. So, modder Piscardo uploaded his creation to mod the Sims with the description Has ACR or Risky Wahoo given your Sims too many unwanted crotch fruit? Did the adoption agency fob off another baby on you instead of that pizza you wanted? Brought to you by the coolest acronym ever to grace the face of the internet. It's oh my god, what the fuck barbecue? It's new, it's shiny, it's more awesome than all those lesser useless downloads that do nothing that isn't already in the game. It even functions as a, as a regular grill with all the options for all versions of game unlike other people and their lesser awesome crap. And best of all it can be yours for less than 640k because 640k is all anyone should ever need. Except no kawaiian based substitutes. I don't know if I pronounced that right sorry. If you don't vote for this to win I will come in the night and steal your firstborn children and eat them. Uh what was that? James! In case that that description of the item wasn't clear, the mod is infamous enough to actually have its own description on Urban Dictionary, which is amazing and alarming all in one. So Urban Dictionary defines it as an actual barbecue that you can download from modthesims.com for the game The Sims 2. It's a barbecue that you can cook newborn babies on. Childline! <laughs> like, <laughs> the actual title of the mod, oh my god, what the fuck barbecue, is a reference to internet slang that is like an elongated version of oh my god. It's like how the acronyms LOL, LMAO, and it meant to put an emphasis on just how exclamatory something is like oh my god what the fuck barbecue my mum got abducted by aliens and my fiance slept with my neighbors you know so that's basically what it is and oh my god what the fuck barbecue is actually quite a common phrase in that time i think it's just chosen as the title of this because it's got barbecue in it because when i was doing the research for this and i was trying to search any articles about this from like 2008 there was a lot of articles that just featured oh my god what the fuck barbecue as a general phrase so it's an exclamation of extreme surprise or excitement usually facetious sarcastic or exaggerated. The mod got released, you know, slightly concerning already. Pescado is actually quite highly regarded in the uh, Sims mod community and apparently he does a lot of good stuff, so, you know. <laughs> but then let's go to the online discourse of it. You know the Sims community. All we're asked about is if we can shag robots. Of course, there is going to be online discourse on this. So first off, let's get into the storytelling using the mod. So the Sims franchise, at its base, we all know it, and it has always been about playing with life or death or death and telling stories. So no matter how outlandish, illegal, stomach turning the dark side of the community might make those stories, they've been happening since the game's conception. It's not a really new thing, this element of storytelling. And in case you weren't part of the community at the time, and The Sims 2 community creators shared their stories on a website specifically meant for them to do that. It was The Sims 2 Exchange. It was made by EA and Maxis and you could upload Sims, upload lots and you could also do stories and this incorporated pictures that you took in game and then there'd be text along with it. So it's kind of like a picture book. But this was a huge method of telling stories in The Sims 2. It's basically that time's version of Let's Plays. This evolved into machinimas which are still very popular today. Let's Plays but more scripted, more dramatic and more specifically emo at the time of <laughs> at the time that this mod was released but everything seemed to be emo around 2008 and music video machinimas were also all the rage during the scene kid era of 2008 echoing what we all saw in our heads while listening to my comic romance and here is an example of machinimas that were popular at this time so you might be thinking jessica babe why are you delving into a retrospective on my teen years well because you probably guessed it the sims machinima community took the oh my god what the fuck barbecue mod and ran with it babe creating horror stories complete with babies for dinner literally like oh my god what the fuck barbecue so i am going to include some examples of it i won't include too much of each video i'll just do a little bit so you can get the general kind of vibe
And we also have probably the creepiest. Mommy's little baby meat takes nine months to make and only minutes to eat. Yes, it's worth the wait. Just note how many wonderful dishes can come from your little bundle of joy. There are baby back ribs, mommy's homemade meatloaf, and roast baby tenderloin steak. Just listen to what my girl thinks. So some of these we use in the mod to kind of actually display this real horrifying story. And some of them were just basically for the meme. We didn't have that word in like 2008, I think. But yeah, a lot of them were just taking the piss out of it, basically. And then as the internet loves to do, <laughs> even memes were made about this mod. This is delving into the future a little bit more because the, the Sims 3 was out at this point. But yeah, oh my God, what the fuck barbecue is infamous in this community. But obviously a mod like this is going to be divisive and a lot of people also did have issues with the mod. Real123 states on Reddit that, I remember that grill, it caused a lot of drama when that mod came out. It was made as a joke but during the Sims 2 days you have to remember most of the people in the community were stay at home mams and thus were horrified at the whole idea. I didn't like it either and still don't but now realise it wasn't as bad as they made it seem back then. See I remember coming across this right because I guess I wasn't the general demographic of you know, mom, I was playing it since the year 2000, back when I was uh, five years old, I've been playing this game. But I remember coming across it as a kid and it did actually make me feel a little bit sick in my stomach because, I've, you know, I was a kid. I was also born in a weird time where nobody really knew the internet then and it was kind of a testing phase and nobody really knew how much freedom we should have with the internet. Definitely wouldn't let my kids have the freedom that I had on the internet. I have been mentally disturbed by it, babe, let me tell you. <laughs> At Slamcore on Twitter said, for the uninformed, this was a mod for The Sims 2 that added the, oh my God, what the fuck about barbecue an outdoor grill object that gave you the option to barbecue your baby along with hamburgers and hot dogs <laughs> so it ain't all bad babe there are a lot of people that made some weird ass machinimas with this mod i'm genuinely worried as we've seen yes there was a lot of people that made machinimas with this mod but the seedy underbelly of the sims community has not kept its love for this mod a secret because sims players are fucking freaks myself included so the mod isn't actually as unpopular as you might think because <laughs> Jess the Twilight said it was called the oh my god what the fuck barbecue I remember it fondly and then we also have again more memes from this even nine years ago working ATM posted when I play the sims all she's allowed to eat is fresh young baby ah Pescados oh my god what the fuck barbecue on mother sims 2 him and the rest of the mods on the forums defended the baby roasting barbecue and made it a featured item as a response to all that people complain about it nothing is better than seeing your sim eat her unwanted crotch fruit b6 oms said on twitter as well the amount of joy that the sims 2 oh my god what the fuck barbecue mod brings me is inexplicable and as sims people do <laughs> there's also a lot of jokes that came from this as well because people did show you know the dislike for it and presuming edge said i can't believe how awful that is look at the crappy clipping on the barbecue hood <laughs> someone else said did she put baby powder on the baby before she roasted him an old fart said barbecue seasoning fortunately you're unfortunately you put your own opinion on that it wasn't popular enough to be removed from mod the sims it's basically lost media it it's nowhere to be found anywhere on mod the sims the place that once you know held the mod in quite high regard and as the blue hunter states on twitter people got really really mad about it and the mod the sims page is gone but it's still pretty easy to find so i'm not gonna go download it so eventually the unpopularness of the mod won out and it was taken away from mod the sims so essentially banned from mod the sims i can't believe from fucking talking about this like if someone told me in year 11 what are your career prospects i'll be talking about cooking babies on a barbecue grill in the sims and you know that's my job actually i wouldn't have it any other way so that seemed to be the end of the mod it was banned from mod the sims and then the sims 3 came out and the sims 4 came out and it kind of went to the back of everybody's minds and you may think that the sims community especially the dark side of it that loves to cook children and moved on found hobbies or discovered other games to mod with disturbing content Oh. <laughs> absolutely not babe absolutely not you'd be incorrect in assuming that actually sims kids know no bounds when they set their mind to something and oh my god what the fuck barbecue was reborn thank you for the sims 4 as, as you can see here on reddit although slightly more disturbing because you know 4 is even more disturbing because it's straight up toddlers being put on a grill and in an oven handling growl car babe cottage car cottage car <laughs> But, you know, the Sims community are absolutely fucking freaks. We are, babe. We are. And once again, I can confirm this because I am a Sims kid, in fact. The meme lives on. The mod lives on. It's good and healthy. And you can download this mod for The Sims 4. Your favourite game changers have done it already. Baby shape mates. They look lovely oh and they're so oh shiny. Oh my god. What is she doing? Is she seasoning it? Oh my god. Oh no!
to sum this up perfectly, I'm going to use Trowisha. They will never let this fucking mod go. <laughs> And that is basically the story of, oh my god, what the fuck barbecue. Bit disturbing, quite disturbing as well, but the game is also not real. You know, I do want to put preliminary warning though. Obviously, do not go out and put toddlers in a cooker or a barbecue or babies. And if you do, I'm going to put you on an old farts comment and please use barbecue seasoning. I love you all. Thank you all so, so much for watching this today. I've kind of decided to split the entire history of custom content up because there's just so much that I want to cover and each one kind of deserves its own video and we're getting into spooky season. I'm in spooky season in August. Let me live. I'm doing all my... Oh, bitch. This mod just made me nervous. I just... I always have sweat patches because I have what? Generalized anxiety. Probably from seeing that fucking mod as an eight-year-old anyway. But yeah, I've decided to split them up as well. So if there's any exceptionally creepy mods or anything that you want me to cover please leave them down below i'm excited spooky season is on in august babe it's spooky season in august thank you all so so much for watching this video thank you everybody whose um tweets and reddit posts that i used as well and also thank you to Brittany zenyev's girl for helping me write this script because she has made entire history of so much easier and they are back in full force i love you all Please subscribe if you haven't already. These are, there is other entire history of after this video. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, bitch.